Hello, I'm Zardis. Grab some coffee, sit back, relapse, and enjoy another modding Monday. Today we're going to talk about the traffic mod. So once you have installed it through the PDFs mods platform, you can come up here in your game to traffic, or the shortcut is control R. And there's two major things that you can do with this. One is the lane connector tool and the other one is the priorities tool. So we're going to come over here and we've got a pretty major intersection here. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this. So first of all, we're going to just come in and click on the lane connector tool and then we can edit some things. Then we select the intersection and we can we're going to pause here just for a moment because I'm going to remove all connections. So now you can see none of these lanes connect to anything else. This gives the full option to customize your intersection. And we could say like this one is right turn only. Then this one is straight, but can only go in the middle two lanes. Actually, we'll keep it like that. And then this one goes straight. And this one is left turn only, but into that lane. Then here you could say this one goes left turn only. This one can turn right or go straight. This one can turn. These go straight. Like that. Actually, this one is only three lanes, so we'll go that way. And then this can go, yeah, right into the middle lane. This one can go left. And this one can go right so that's like one configuration and if you right click to get out of it you can see it has changed the way the uh intersection looks in terms of the road wear which just kind of adds to the the look of it in general it also has added some lane markings in there as well because these two lanes are going straight or you could click on it and you want to reset to vanilla and then say, let's remove the unsafe one. So now it has automatically made it so that the left lane can only turn into the closest lane, the right lanes can only turn into the closest lanes, and there are no U-turns. So that should just pretty much speed things up. You could also use it on smaller intersections. So for example, over here, I've used it to customize this intersection here and you can see we've got some u-turns i'm actually going to turn those off and just remove those connections and then the same thing here remove those and so now we have a little bit more uh where in or a little bit more detail of where the cars can go and it also once again added the lane markings for some of this so this is the only lane that can go straight. So now this is a turn lane and it added some of those lane markings, which is a nice little feature. Another thing you can do is you can add priorities. So we're going to go back up here to the mod and click priorities tool. And we're going to select an intersection. This is so that you can come in here and add stop signs. We're going to come in here and we're going to apply to the lane group. And we're going to say priority for this way and this way. And then we want a stop sign for this way and that way. And so now you can see we've got a stop sign here and here, but the cars here can go straight through. Now one car just had to stop there or like stopped anyway, but they will come in and should give more priority to those ones. You could also come in here and change that priority to a yield. So this one now is a yield sign instead of a stop sign. And it just gives you a little bit more uh, flexibility in what you're doing. You can also do it lane by lane as well. So if you have like a three-way thing, let's see if I've got a three-way road. Or like in here, you could, you have to remove the uh, traffic light before you can modify the node. So we'll come in here and remove this traffic light so I can show you how to do this. And then we can come in here and priorities tool. Now we can do this lane by lane so i could say that this lane has priority this lane has to stop which is an interesting thing that you have lane by lane ability now to impact your intersection i don't know how the drivers know that they don't have to stop in the left lane but they do so that is one thing to to know about this mod 
So I hope that found uh, that you found that useful. Be sure to hit that like button and uh, click on the video on the screen now. It should take you to another video that will help you out. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.